Okay, so we have some actually sad news update regarding Filmora. It just happened these recent days. Let me open it uh, really quick. I have the latest Filmora, well, latest for now. And uh, whether you're in 13.0, 13.4, it doesn't matter. The footage from Pixabay, Pexels, and Jiffy are uh, gone. Yeah, uh, this stuff here had the stock media. Remember, you have mine. And you have the library and then you had partners right here well that part is gone on my uh version of filmora at least now that is sad it is really sad but i have an email from them that uh clarifies the sadness here and this was today and i'm gonna read some of this email so you can see it yourself since version 13.4.1 which I don't even have that, so they retroactively did that part. Let me just show you which version I actually have. I have version 13.0.25. I did not update it, but still they removed that part. The download sources from Pexels, Jiffy or Giphy and Pixabay will be seamlessly redirected to their respective websites. Yada, yada, yada. The adjustment is made primarily in two considerations. Observe that our users are increasingly demanding diversity in our resources. But that is diversity in resources by having all three of them right there. <laughs> Seriously, uh, how else does that work? And you need a broader selection. Obviously, if I don't find what I need there, I know how to click pexels.com. I even have an account with them. I upload there. I upload free footage and pictures so others can enjoy them too. It's copyright free. That's why I'm part of Pex Pexels myself. But somehow they think that uh, you create more original and personalized works. And moreover, compliance with copyright laws. It is kind of nonsensical, this part right here, in my opinion, because by accessing the resources websites directly, you can be assured that all materials utilized are legally authorized, thereby safeguarding your creations from any potential copyright disputes. Uh, that is not true, because when you had the partners right here, those videos were downloaded directly from the sites. Those videos would ping at Pexels, Jiffy, Pixabay, and all that. And you would have it right here for free to use because those are free sites. And those downloads would reflect on the site's server. So that is a really, really horrible excuse. It makes zero sense. Yes, there have been times that I needed B-roll for something and I just wanted to put something nice. Maybe I didn't find it here on their uh, query or whatever the cache might have been on Filmora's site. And yeah, I would go to Pexels myself. That is fine. But now, after 13.4, uh, they added, you have the options here. I'm not going to download because I don't want more stuff to break than they did. I'm really displeased with this one, by the way. But now you will have these. <laughs> but when you click on something, it goes now to the website. Are you serious right now? Uh, do you think I don't know how to go to Pexels? Is that seriously your problem that I may not know how to click pexels.com? And that makes zero sense, in my opinion. Makes zero sense. Let me put it here. This is pexels.com. Wow. How did I make it here? Let me go to forest. Here. This is free footage. Yay. Yay. I'm a contributor on this site myself we go to videos and go to snow perfect click video here and you have snowy videos this is free footage that people like me and others upload here for your pleasure all i get paid here if somebody decides to donate in private to say thank you if they use that footage whatever to go to the moon on a stack of cash they can do that but as for me i upload that footage there is I want you to have it. Whether you give me credit or not, I could care less. I put it there so you can have it. And so do most people here. Yes, we have the option to license it and require different requirements to put the link and all that. Myself, for example, I don't require any of that. I don't care. I know what I'm doing with Pexels. That footage and those pictures are yours i want nothing in return for it i just want you to be happy <laughs> because 
The same way I download stuff from here for B-roll, I like to upload as well, so others like me and you can enjoy it. That's how Pexels works. But now, to tell me on this email that, oh, copyright disputes and all that, it kind of doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. I will contact Pexels since I actually have line of contact with them. I will ask them if really Pexels asked Filmora to remove that or it was too much for Filmora to host a few links on their servers so we could have this stuff here. Now, now keep in mind, I love Filmora for what I do, but don't forget how this started. Filmora just, I think Daniel Batal did a great explanation on his video on what Filmora did that I used to have a lifetime license to just like he did. <laughs> And yeah, they, they kicked me on the side and said, go pound sand or give us money monthly. Otherwise, keep that offline version you had from <laughs> dinosaurs time and have fun with it or update to the new one and pay monthly. So you rent it. So I rent film more of it. Well, I bid the dust and I bought it as you see right here now. Okay, that was enough insult. <laughs> but now you have to add on top of that. The AI with credits that you have to purchase more. And no, I don't want you to go there because I don't want to buy AI credits, which makes me and leads me to believe that very soon the update is going to be with AI generated footage here for free, of course, if you buy enough AI credits. That is just me saying that based on the trajectory that Filmora has been going recently years. And furthermore, now comes that the footage is removed first. That is the first step before jumping to AI generated. But where did you get all these? Did you, did uh, somebody from Filmora just create these, this video here, for example, let me see. Oh, wow, look, looks like they created this one. Are you sure about that? Because I'm not sure if I search for this one that, uh, will ping me somewhere else. So I'm really just not happy with it. And if you happen to notice that you don't have these thingies here on your Filmora anymore, this is the reason, and this is their explanation. I am not gonna uninstall Filmora for that because I'm happy with the video editing and all that for, for the video editing that I do at least. I, I, I mean, you can go with great video editors and if you wanna learn, for example, for professional, Da Vinci, I 1 million percent suggest Daniel Batal. If you want to learn video editing like a pro, go to his channel. I will leave a link down in the description. And uh, the video ju I just mentioned is this one right here, the lifetime license. Uh, <coughs> bye bye. And yeah, he switched to Da Vinci Resolve. Great for him. He's a professional in this stuff. He's not somebody that jokes around. Daniel knows his stuff. I'm not going to switch to Da Vinci. I have Da Vinci. I just, it's too much for the type of video that I do. I do mostly tutorials, repairs. Maximum that I do is put three cameras to film three different angles. Yeah, Filmora does that for me, and I'm good with that. But if you want to become a pro on doing Da Vinci stuff, just go to Daniel's channel and, uh, yeah, of course, I'm subscribed and learn. It's actually free. You don't need to pay anything. Just watch his videos and you're good to go. But besides that, uh, Filmora, I am not happy with this. You know what you're doing, and you know that is wrong. Because on this email, I unfortunately did not screenshot it and I'm not gonna bother with it. I asked a straight up question, which is answered here and they will <laughs> come back to me soon. <laughs> I asked what was the reason for the new update? Was it a demand by these three websites? Or it was an internal decision. If it was by demand by the sites, it would be very clear and easy to tell me, yes, they demanded us take the option down and I was, I would be good to go. I would never blame Filmora for it. But half of the answer they tried to give me here is, uh, to answer your question about the reason for this new update, we will have to consult with our relevant internal team. We will update you on your email for answers. Now, I don't expect them to come back to me ever. <laughs> with an answer but if they come i will probably ping it on the comments below so yeah that is the sad part about this whole ordeal with filmora that they just somehow they're like that good cow that produces five gallons of milk by the end that you're done milking that cow 
it kicks the bucket, and here goes the five gallons. You know, that, I'm not sure if that makes that, that cow that productive or good. Or is it just good to look at it, and then the milk goes down the stream? Anyway, I, I just wanted to let you know so you are not baffled. Like I was in the beginning, where did these options go? Here is the answer, and I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.